everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Alyssa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So today it is Friday and I thought that I'd do a little daily vlog so you can see what I get up to, but it's going to be predominantly centered around the fact that tomorrow is fight night. It's a huge night, the biggest night of my boxing career. It is Anthony Joshua versus Jermaine Franklin for Matchroom Boxing at the O2. Hopefully it's gonna be AJ's big comeback. So excited, but yeah, this is the biggest show that I've ever done. So it's all so, so excited. Couldn't be happier and more honored that I get to ring girl tomorrow. So yeah, I thought that I'd show you because I'm gonna have a little bit of a self-care day today. So I thought I'd just show you guys what I'm doing, what I'm gonna eat um, and all that stuff in preparation for fight night. So yeah, that's the plan. It is 10 o'clock now. I've actually already had an interview today. So I had an interview just on the phone at 9 a.m. with the Sun newspaper because they're gonna run an article about us ring girls. So that was quite exciting. We've also answered some interview questions for the Daily Star as well. So it's really nice that people are kind of interested in it because I know us ring girls aren't, you know, that important in the grand scheme of things, but it's nice to be included um, in ways, you know, like that, I guess. What am I saying? Anyway, so I am now dressed. I've just thrown some clothes on and I'm going to head to the gym first of all. I'm going to do a nice cardio session and then I'm also going to have a little steam sauna after as well just because I have actually woke, woken up feeling quite bloated. I did drink like a lot yesterday so it might just be that. So I wouldn't normally, I mean I can't remember the last time I used this steam room or the sauna at my gym because it's not very nice it's a bit run down but um yeah I just I feel like giving that giving that a whirl today see if I get less bloated from it who knows but yeah that's my plan so I'm going to do that first of all and then yeah there's some other bits I need to run to Tesco at some point today I need to make sure I'm eating fairly clean and low calorie um I'm gonna get my nails done because, listen, if there's one thing about me is I have freakishly long nails, like they grow, I mean, my hair's grown grow so much and so quickly as well, and so do my nails. Like, look, they're always, I mean, this is probably a medium length for my nails. Like, they grow longer than that and they just grow ridiculously quick. And I'm constantly like, looking down like oh my god what the hell and just having to cut them down again and then before I know it they've grown like this precious are you trying to get in or do you want to be in or what she's in the windowsill she loves to get in the windowsill and watch like the cars drive past don't you my darling love you um yeah so my nails are freakishly long and I'll be honest I'm such a poor excuse for a girl I never really get my nails done I don't get my hair done don't get my lashes done don't get my eyebrows done and I don't get my nails done, but as you can see, one of my nails is broken. I can't remember what I did, but it really hurt and it's completely snapped off and I don't know if that's focusing or not. Can you see that? Yeah, it's not a good look. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my nails done. I actually managed to persuade Bobby to pay for me to get my nails done. Wow, that sounds really bad of me. Thank you, Bobby, if you're watching this. You're so kind and I love you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done as well. Get these sorted. I need to scrub, I've got like remnants of fake tan left on me, which I need to scrub off, put fresh fake tan on. You know the drill, I'm totally rambling now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym now and I will. So I thought I'd just show you as well before I go to the gym. I'm just gonna take two of these energy tablets I really do notice a difference when I take these. Look, you can see I've actually, like, I'm getting through it. Um, but these are from Protein World, and I do have a discount code. You can use PWLISA to get 40% off. Then I've also just got these little vitamins. They're really cheap. I picked these up from the range. I'm going to take these as well. Um, and then I'm also just going to eat this now. I don't normally eat breakfast, but I just want to eat something just to give me that little bit extra energy before I do cardio. So I'm going to eat this now. And then I'm also just going to take this with me it's literally the dinkiest cutest little thing but it's one of the Malteser bunny rabbit things but white chocolate they're so delicious these and white chocolate cream eggs are seriously getting in the way of my diet this year like they are unbelievable 
Anyway, this is obviously tiny, so it's really not going to harm me. But I'm going to take this with me um, and just maybe eat it after my workout and um, before I have a sauna, just because... I just want to be on the safe side, like I'm not going to lie, I've passed out twice in some bed places before and I just don't, I don't know what it is with me because, you know, it's, I, I normally eat before anyway, but yeah, I just don't want to risk passing out basically, so I'm just going to take this in case I need a bit of a sugar boost, but yeah, I'm going to get to the gym now. Hello, I am back from the gym and <laughs> it was so embarrassing, so at my gym, you have to ask, so there's obviously the gym and then there's a swimming pool and there's sauna and steam room. If you want to use a sauna and steam room and you're a member, you have to ask for like, they give you like a orange like wristband just to show that you've got access to it, I guess. Um, so that's what you normally do. So I went up to the desk and said, can I have an orange wristband for the sauna? And she was like, we don't have a sauna. She was like, we haven't had one in six, since six months time or something. And I was like, oh, okay. I haven't been, so. But, yeah, so that was a fail. They obviously got rid of their sauna and steam room. Like I said, it was extremely outdated, so I don't blame them. My gym's not that great, but it's literally, like, I live in a small town off of Peterborough, and there's literally one gym here, so I don't really have much choice about where to go. But, yeah, that was annoying. But, anyway, I've come straight home. To be fair, I sweated so much on that gym session anyway, probably wouldn't have needed the sauna. So it's all good. It is now nearly half 12. So I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat and then um, head out and get my nails done. So I will figure out what I'm gonna eat and then I will show you. So this is what I've gone for for lunch, just some roast chicken flavor noodles. These noodles is by a company called Coley. My mother-in-law is obsessed with these noodles and whenever we go around her she always um she always does them for us. Um but I haven't actually tried this flavor before and I just saw this in Tesco and I thought, "Yep, I'll pick that up." And I haven't actually eaten it yet, so I thought, "Do you know what? I'm going to have it now." Um they smell really good, so I'm just going to have these noodles are uh, I actually love having like noodles for lunch because they're always fairly low calorie but they're just like a nice warm yummy meal um, I'm filling as well so I'm going to have this and then I'm going to head out and get my nails done which I'm so excited about. So it is now quarter past four and I did go and get my nails done. Gosh I forgot how mind numbing it is getting your nails done. Like it's just so boring and the time drags so much but yeah I just went for a cute little square French tip. I haven't had like acrylic extensions like this in so long so when they said what shape do you want I was like uh square <laughs> and I've, I don't think I've ever had square before but I don't know what's the trend. Like the last time I got acrylics, everyone was getting coffin shaped. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really happy I went with square. I think they look lovely. And I guess square is probably timeless anyway. So yeah, that's that. And then I went to Morrison's and basically for my princess business, I'm actually doing Easter visits next week on Good Friday and the Saturday as well. Um, where I'm just, you know, dressing up as Disney Princess and doing like 10 minute doorstep visits and giving each child an Easter egg. Um, so last year when I did this, I left it too late and all these like little bargain, like one pound eggs were all out of stock and they only had like the expensive ones. So I thought I better get prepared. So yeah, I've just run out and stocked up. I've literally bought 20 Easter eggs. So yeah, but that's one thing sorted, which is great. But yeah, so like I say, it's now quarter past four. I think what I'm gonna do, oh my God, I honestly look crazy. I haven't even showered since sweating it out at the gym. So I think my plan now is I'm gonna run a bath and I'm gonna exfoliate, shave, wash my hair, everything and relax. Um, and then, yeah, so that I'm all prepped, ready to fake tan soon as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. Excuse the mess, but here's my little bath set up. And I've also grabbed my book. So, 
yeah this is the one I'm reading at the moment I've literally got like three clean Hoover books left I've really nearly finished them all which makes me so sad but this one is joint with Taryn Fisher as well so it definitely does feel like different just from reading it it just reads differently but you know I'm only a small part of the way through um, but yeah it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far but yeah I'm gonna get myself fake tan prepped basically so I just got out of the bath but I thought I would show you because the interview that I had this morning they've posted the article already um, and I'm really happy with it to be honest it says fairy tale I'm a ring girl by night but I have a very different day job it can be challenging but it gives me a change so they asked me about all sorts of things I spoke a lot about my business um, about my campaign for Miss Universe um, about obviously being a ring girl but they obviously really liked the fact that I dress up as Disney princesses so they've kind of taken that as the angle um, so yeah look they've put pictures from my princess page in there as well which I'm not complaining about because I'll take the free um, publicity for my business as well thank you very much um, but yeah it's a really really good article to be honest and then it talks about where is it my bit about Miss Universe which is good um, and then obviously mentioned a bit about what it's like to be a ring girl and of course they had to get Bobby in there as well he will be his head will be growing at the fact that he got mentioned in my article um, <laughs> but yeah I thought that was really nice so you can find it on my social media if you follow me but so as you can see I'm out of the bath and I'm just gonna let my hair dry naturally because I will do anything to avoid heat damage so if I can just get away with letting it dry naturally at home I'm gonna do that so I've just brushed it through pretty much and I'm now gonna do a face mask which is just one I picked up from Tesco this one is called orange flower and ginger sheet face mask and it's a reviving one I'll be honest if you can see anything by the way it's just precious she's in the windowsill again like trying to get involved um but that's okay because we love you um I'll be honest I've had such a bad week for skin like I don't know if it was because I was on my period last week and also we were in Dubai last week so maybe it was just the traveling and the air con and and germs and stuff like that maybe but yeah my skin is normally really really good but it's just not it's best at the moment as you can see I've got some spots on my forehead I've got this scab here from a spot that I had um yeah it's it's not the best I mean listen I'm not complaining I know it's not awful and people have it a lot worse so I'm, I'm not complaining I'm no more complaining but yeah I'm gonna do this sheet mask and yeah probably won't make any difference but hey if it makes me feel relaxed and like I'm giving myself the self-care that I need I don't know if you can see because Prishy is really trying to get into this Prishy move out the way please darling but yeah let's put this on Precious, do you want to come and join me or what come here she's literally like <laughs> literally right in the windowsill but yeah, I'm just gonna pull this out and slap it on my face it's nearly six o'clock now in fact it's probably gone six o'clock and I'm absolutely starving I'm the type of person that doesn't eat a lot during the day I always like to save my calories for dinner um, and have a nice filling meal in the evening um, but yeah I'm the type because of that I think I'm normally the type of person that as soon as it gets to like five o'clock I'm like shall I make dinner it's dinner time <laughs> And I'm just waiting for Bobby to get back from work, basically. Wow, this is nice and wide for my round head. Oh, yeah, this smells lovely and it feels great as well. Oh, yeah, love it. Love it. But, yeah, I'm just waiting for Bobby to get home from work and then I can make dinner as well. Um, why do I always do this? There we go. There we have it. <laughs> my lips really aren't fitting in this slit. Oh, I love a face mask. It just feels so good. I normally get my... I've got one of them roll... Oh, I think my phone's ringing. That'll be Bobby probably, hopefully, saying he's on his way back from work. Let me just find out. 
Hello? Hello, love. Oh, hi. What the hell is going on with you? What? <laughs> you know, you know, things to pick up first time. That's what we're dealing with, is it? Oh, God. Are you on your way home now? Yeah, it might be. It might not be. I don't know. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, we got it. I'll take your way. I'll go into weather smooth tonight for dinner. <laughs> if only you could see me right now, I've literally got wet hair, a face mask on, and a dressing gown. Yeah, I've seen you like that before and you look like a rat. Well, that's rude. So, it is now 20 to 7. Bobby just got home about 10 minutes ago. Just been catching up with him. We've just had a little cup of tea. Um, and now I'm going to make some dinner. I know this is very boring and low calorie and all that just boring stuff, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it or, like, lie, obviously. I do want to look good in a two-piece tomorrow, so I'm not obviously eating probably as much as I should be today. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm going to have chicken sausages and some rice. I'm also going to do some peas as well. They're obviously in the freezer. Um, so yeah, really simple, but it's just, you know, it, it's just what works for me and my lifestyle, really. And yeah, I have finished my face mask just been rolling my face with a I think they're called jade roller it's something like that anyway and I'm gonna put dinner on and then just put the sausages in the oven and I'm gonna fake tan myself because I need to get that on me ASAP I have actually just swapped the tea for a glass of rosé because why not it's Friday cheers Well, here it is, Gordon Ramsay could never. <laughs> this honestly looks like the most pathetic meal ever, but yeah, I'm gonna have it with a load of sweet chili sauce, so that will definitely prove it. Um, <laughs> I still haven't managed to put fake tan on myself, not gonna lie, so I'm gonna eat this first, and then I'm definitely gonna put some fake tan on, okay? It's gonna happen. Well, <laughs> My nose, why does my nose look like that? So, as you can tell by the colour of me, oh God, I have fake tan finally. I literally just used St. Moritz, which is like the cheapest one. It's ultra dark. Although saying that, I'm pretty sure it still cost me like £10 from Tesco, whereas I swear this used to be like £2 in B&M, but maybe that's just my problem that I went to Tesco, not B&M, but anyway. Yes, I am slightly worried about what colour I'm going to be in the morning, but hey, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Anyway, I don't have anything else really planned for the rest of the evening. I think I might pour myself another glass of wine and just chill, relax, get an early night's sleep because I'll be up in the morning to get ready and head to London for fight night, which is so exciting. So, yeah, I know... It might have been a bit of a boring vlog, but I hope some of you have enjoyed it, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you if you have watched it this far. Thank you for watching, and please do make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!